What up, nerds? It's Matt, Tony, right? Oh, yep. This is Tony's first F and M, and of course, he gets paired with me round one on camera. So that's just how it goes. Um, I'm on the play here. I play Jetmere's Garden, Plains Forest. Pass. I'm gonna play Drug Card. Forest. I think I'll pass. Uh, you don't have to tap your land if you're not doing anything. But my turn. Okay. Yeah, forest and up the beanstalk. When it enters or whenever I cast a spell with five mana value or greater draw card. Enters draw card. Pass. Um, I'm gonna play a uh, uh, draw for your turn. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Um, add that channel. So, it's there. Um, and I guess I'll go with uh, an Elvic Mystic mm -hmm. up ahead and then tap my forest. Um, I don't think I'm good. on this land, mm -hmm. uh, choose a color, and we have So I'll make this green. Um, so this ability, when you activate it, you choose a color at that point. So it doesn't doesn't actually do anything right now. Okay. You will choose green, because that's a mono green deck, but... Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, um. No, you don't game. Just game. Okay. I think I might go. I think I might just go for Big Mystic again. So it's a three free star. Call it from there. You do have to pay for it. Oh, yes. Tap. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll go to my turn. Play planes. How many cards do you have in your hand? Believe four, yeah. And I did draw. I'll play Visa the Bounding Spring. So when this enters, create a treasure token if your opponent has more lands than you, which you, you don't. Gain yeah. four life if they have more <laughs> life than you, which you don't. Create two 1-1 one, one blue fish tokens if you do have more creatures, which you do. And then draw a card if they have more cards in hand, but you have four, so Somewhere I have Wooper tokens. So those are one one fish. Uh, and then I'll pass. Alright, um I'm tapped. Okay. That was my only uh, hope it doesn't take care of all the enchantments. What do I want? It's a creature and enchantment. Yeah. I might just keep it up with putting that one low tier cards, draw, and then uh, land of worlds. Um, 
yeah, uh, I think. Okay. Um, I might go Leyland of the Guild Pack. Uh, every non-land permanent control of colors. Don't think you can cast the line. Yes. Oh. I don't think you have the right mana for it. I thought this was any mana. No, it adds colorless or it adds devotion to a single. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you tap, maybe do one, two, that adds three green, and then that guy can tap for me, because you just played this one. Yeah, okay. So, tap that. Yeah, so, you have, yeah, so, it's, so if you were to tap those two and nick those, you would add three green, and then that would be a fourth green. And I think you can cast it for four hybrid green, right? Um, I believe so, yeah. Oh, uh, yep, four hybrids. Yeah. So then if you tap everything, you're able to generate four green. I'm sorry. I'm indecisive. Um, uh, but you are looking at 23 days. Yeah. Alright, see you next week. Find you control our basic lands. Every basic lands. Basic it might, I might take one of those, I'm sorry. I think it might be better to play Ron. Okay. Uh, I think I'm done. Okay. I don't know. I hit you down at 21. Because you went from. So when you played that, you gained life. Yeah, and then you played that, you gained life. Mm -hmm. And you paid life. These guys are taking it. Four or five, and these are two on one. I tap yeah. them. Okay. No, I tap um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I will defend, um, I guess, with this and that to that. Uh, so I used line them up how you want to block. <laughs> okay, so yes. defend, defend. Defend. Yep. Or, um, maybe I'll leave this and take a hit. So take one. Yeah. Take <laughs> team. And then these will both die. Okay. And this will make two spirits. Okay. And. Wait, two more here. You can go. Yeah, they don't need to be anything. They're just doing your work. Yeah. So now you have a second one phase. I will. Cast another bean stock. Draw a card. So, let me untap that. Ah, uh, it's still my turn. I'm so sorry. I'll play a land. Your turn. Uh, okay. Uh, untap. Draw. Uh, Planeswalker. Enchantment. You're probably going to jump out of your skin, but the alarm will go off in just a second when Pat leaves. Okay. We're all used to it, but I don't think you've witnessed it before. I have not. So, can you battle with surprise? It may add one man. Yep. <laughs> I warned you. Still got me. That's it. Uh, I won't do it again. Prismari can make deal two damage here and drop you. Never and every creature. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so this is... What better deck to not know what you're doing with than my green math? Trailblazer, it's a cool name, oh, okay. so it's got to go up. Yeah. Um, so when that enters, I think you yeah. add a mana of any color, uh, and whenever another creature with power four greater enters, draw a card. Yeah. So you do get one mana off of that. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, 
four. Well, you have one left because you spent yeah. three. Ah. So, but you do have the ability to tap the elves for mana. So if you have a three three cost spell, you can yeah. cast that yeah. by tapping the elves. Unfortunately, I do not. Um, it's probably. Yeah, I think. I might attack with never mind. I think I'm overthinking it. I think I'm gonna pass guess round. So the spell I'm casting is six, but it costs one less for each basic land type I have. So it costs one less for mountain forest planes, and I don't have any others. So it costs three, and it's a six drop, so it's going to trigger whenever you cast a spell, five or greater draw card. So I'll so draw one, draw two. Okay. And then when this enters, it's going to exile that trail the laser. Swamp Mountain Forest. Okay, and then I will attack with those two. Damn. Okay. Um, I might just block with, I guess, Elvig Mystic and then take the one. Yeah. Mystical die. And then it'll be your turn. Okay, uh, untap these. Get me set up. Draw. or when it attacks, it deals four damage to any target, so I'm going to blast the elves. Four. Oof. Attack. Four, five. Ah. I don't have I have I have I have Seventh one wasn't the turn one. 
Yeah. No, the awkward thing is I have to replay it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I actually thought I was like on the screen of Phantom. Uh, when I played that. 16 uh, lands and uh, about 6 uh, lands. Yeah, um, I have nothing. It's, yeah, it happens. Go to my turn. Then after I was like, oh. It's survived for longer than three rounds, so that's a win in my book. Um, yeah, I mean, it's lethal if you don't have anything, because when this attacks, deal four to you. So that'll put you to nine, and then it's ten damage total. So if you got nothing, it's lethal. We'll go to the next game. Yeah, no, I can't. I actually can't. I don't think so. Alright, game two. Um, so win in my book. If I, open. So I don't, t yeah, I was gonna say, I don't typically play decks that I kill fast with, so. And then don't forget, yeah, save the stuff in your graveyard. So you have to put one on the bottom. Yeah, yeah it's helpful. So you have a six card hand. And I currently least, have a six card hand. At least I would have shot right. you for six extra right. yeah. I'm thinking... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, just go with a normal forest. No, um, right. 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 Yep. Do not get enough. I don't have any plants. I don't have any elves. No <laughs> small enemies. So all set. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Go to my turn. Draw. Jet Nurse Guard. Your turn. I might just go with upper standard. <laughs> and then. Uh, okay. Yeah, nothing I can do. All set. Yeah. Uh, reading group. Text. Um, I'll draw this land. Choose a color. You draw for your turn. Oh, sorry. Storm Festival. Thanks I'm, for the info. I am so tired today. <laughs> I am... I, uh, <laughs> I need a coffee at like 10 p.m. Yeah, say it's 7.30 night. Time for a first coffee, right? Yeah. Or fifth coffee or something. Yeah. It's more accurate. <laughs> I gotta have uh, some sort of energy drink by 9 a.m. myself. I can do this and then tap them all free. Uh, uh, you don't get green from this land. Uh, oh, I thought it was a choose no. a color. So you have to pay two to choose a color. And when you do that, it adds it equal to the number of green pips that you got. So if this isn't even a play, it would add zero. Jeez. Uh, um, and then it just taps for colorless. So you don't actually have three green to tap or to cast that with. My bad. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do with that. <laughs> so I'm going to cast this for its impending cost. So green, green, one. So green, green, one. Um, when it enters or attacks, create a tapped land token. Named every land. That is every land type. And then pass. And then this has four counters on it, it comes in, and then at the on my end step, it removes a counter, and once its counters are all gone, it becomes a creature. So it's not a creature right now. Okay. If I cast it for its full mana cost, then it would be a creature when it enters. But I'm casting it for its cheaper cost, so it's not a creature yet. And then return. Okay. Uh, first of all, tap, can draw, uh, yet another land, um, I'll tap these two, change that to a green, this will add zero, because you don't have any green, oh, okay, you don't have any green permanents in play. So when you when you tap this, it looks at your green permanents and how many mana symbols there are, and adds that many green mana. Okay. Um, so you currently have green green colorless available, unless you play another land. Play another land. This is a legendary land. You only have one. So you don't really want to play that. Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do. Do you have a four mana spell you could cast? Because one thing you could do is tap this for colorless, play the new one, get rid of the old one, and then tap the new one for mana also. So that would bring you up to four, but you can't have two of these and play at the same time. Um, so you can cheat a fourth mana if you need to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So if I tap these two, tap that, remove that, put in another legendary, tap that, you'd have four. And that'd be two green, two colorless. Correct. Okay. Um, but you don't get the land back. So you're not. That, that's the downside, is you don't get the land back because you have to sacrifice it. Okay. Um, I do have something. I, here's what I might do. Just tap that, remove that. Tap this. That stays. This goes. When you play the new one, you'll have to get rid of one of them. So you get rid of one of them. Just play this. This goes. Yep. There. Now tap that. So I have two colors one green. Yep. trigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, if if I am thinking about this right, I can play this. If two uh, you don't even need to. If if you're playing that, you don't even need to sacrifice one of these. You just pay the two green and the one. Oh, it said two color. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah. So keep that in your hand. Put the other one back in play. Yeah. So this. So the colorless, sorry, the generic two means you can use any color to pay for it. If it was, I don't know if you have the diamond symbols in any of the cards, the diamond symbol means it has to be paid for with the colorless. But that means it can be paid for with the So you can play that without sacrificing the diamond. All right, yeah. Um, I think I'll do that. So she has seven counters on her. Um, and you can use a counter to untap a land if you have an elf or something. If you don't, then there's no reason to. But. Yeah, um, I do not. Okay, so. All set then? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. So I have a response to killing this. You're not getting the trigger. Right? Yeah. And so, yeah. so, right. Correct. So, like, calm down just a little bit, man. Like, all right. Yes. Sacred Foundry. So, I'm going to cast. Enigmatic Incarnation. So this is a reader for you. So at the beginning of my end step, I can sacrifice another enchantment. If I do, sac uh, search my library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to that permanence in uh, mana cost plus one. And put it into play. So I played my land, I played this, I'm going to go to my end step. So I'm going to sacrifice this Overlord, which is a five mana. So I'm going to grab a six. Okay. Yeah, I was like, man, I don't know if that's the only six in Okay. So I'm gonna grab Overlord of the Boiler Bullfrays. When that enters or attacks, it deals four damage to any target. I will deal four damage to you. Yeah. And then you turn. But then I attack you have uh, a face all these two things. Um, yeah. So I have Actually, then draw your card. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll place a number. Guess I'll die. I know. I know. So right now, you have access to the four la lands, giving you mana. And if you use Kiora to untap one, it gives you a fifth. So I don't know if you have a five-cost spell to cast, but that's something you can do. And if you need, you can six. 
I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about this now. Yes. So, uh, like that. yeah, like, if so you, I think you have old growth troll in your hand this game. Yes. But the, the green, green, green means you could cast that. I know, I'm just overthinking it. Gotcha. Um, so if I untap this, it counts as green, right? So this untaps something. Well, untaps target permanent. So if you were to tap this forest for a green and then use the minus one to untap it, you could tap it again for another green. Ah, okay. What you're usually doing is, if you have a big board where you've got like the, the troll, Kiora, and maybe an elf, you've got five green mana amongst all your permanents. So then if you tap the two forests and the Nykthos, you would get five green. And then you could use Kiora to untap the Nykthos, spend two more, get another five. So that's just a way to kind of ramp up your mana. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go. Once you're free, play it safe. Go for all the yeah. yeah. um, And I think that's about it. Uh, when it enters, it has power four greater, so you get to draw. Yeah, and oh. then Canyon won. I died. <laughs> From he won because he had, can't attack unless he has flying or something. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Oh, uh, not really. Because you haven't, you haven't you used Kira's minus one, so if you had, like, a two drop that you drew, or an elf, you could untap a land. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, your team is... I don't know what's in your hand, so... <laughs> uh, um, yeah. All set, though? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's ghost. It's O one ghost. I mean it's original frame. Yeah, so I can remember nine Gonna cast an overlord as the creature. So when it enters, deal four damage to the Three zero one goats. Whenever you pay off, create a zero one goat. And then I think when that dies, it gets attached to a forest or maybe. It's a So, this dies. So it goes to your graveyard, and then when it dies, it triggers and goes. I think the card itself gets attached, right? Yeah. Return it to the battlefield. Basically enchanted to a forest. That forest taps for two mana, and then it has the ability to sacrifice the forest to make a four-four troll. And then attack with the original overlord. So when it attacks, do four to your face, and then it's attacking for five. So yeah, nine. Uh, so you go to twelve. 12 off of the attack trigger, and then go to 7 off of the combat damage. And then I'll go to my end step, and I'm going to sacrifice the 6 drop to the incarnation to grab a 7 drop. Survived three rounds. I'm going to grab a trap. I don't think you're going to say that. Well, you have to kill him. I don't do it when they use first thing in the world. I'm going to kill him. 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 It's still my turn. Oh, would you like to cut? Yeah, Leona's not bad. Yeah. I don't like it. Alright, so when Atraxa enters, reveal the top 10 cards in my library. For each card type, I can put one card into my hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... 
The first game just could take a land. That was the end. Digging in, digging in, digging in, literally just digging into more lands. And I got a creature. Yeah. 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 So I went inside and I went inside and then it's a reason why you put Austin against any cult. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's got to Yeah. Because the first thing they're going to do is just target the whale. All right. Uh, Sorry, my turn. Yep. I mean, they, they, they may take, take out. They may take two or four. That's fine. Yeah, not done. Yeah. Draw. But against uh, red and black, those colors don't have a chance. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I guess, basically, I guess, in Upper Forest, I have all the lands. The model red, model black, the red, model black, the red, 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 Oh. I am gonna. I need. I need to draw a card. I have not looked at that. I can't even imagine. I have to place that down, or I will explode. Um, so yeah, I gotta tap. Let me separate these. Tap. Uh, uh, those BGS9 uh, card for four grand. It's all the most useless cards in the entire game. So, um, crossing my fingers <laughs> at this point. So, all set. Yep. I don't want to spoil anything, but you're dead on board. <laughs> so, attack when it attacks, deal four to the land or else. And then that's 12. Ah, okay. Good game. Yeah. Uh, what was in your hand? Um, Leyline, uh, two storms. Leyline, two storms, and. Night, this, oh. like those. Um, De one, two, three, green. four, five. You had just enough to Mono cast green, to cast the the oh, storm, the festival, and then it's yes. you're kind of so just basically hoping that you okay, hit numbers. what you need. So, so um, I okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I did not. Yeah. 